everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am so excited that you are here and if you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. You guys, I have made an executive decision about this weekend's videos. I'm going to make this series a three-part New Year's series. So part one will be my favorite products of 2018, which I'm very excited to share with you guys. Number two is going to be my personal New Year's resolutions, which I'm also really excited to share with you guys. And then part three, I think, is what I might be the most excited for. I'm going to do a three-part giveaway on part three. So if you want to see all that, then hang out with me all weekend and let's dive into the first video. I cannot believe 2018 has come to an end. Oh my gosh, does anyone else feel like that year went so unbelievably fast? Like I feel like I blinked my eyes and 2018 went by. I don't even know where I was. I feel like I wasn't a part of the ride. So of course I have to do a yearly favorites. This is where I'm just going to tell you my favorite products from the year. If you are new to my channel, I start every video with a question to get to know my last fan better and to help you guys get to know me better. So today's question is just going to go along with the video. What were your favorite or most used products from 2018? Leave it in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I made a list because some of these products I have already used up and have not repurchased. Some of them I have on my face right now. I got that JLo glow going on. I'm obsessed with her. I think she is amazing. Anywho, let's focus on what this video is really about. I will be putting pictures up here for your viewing pleasure. And also links down below so you guys can check out the products and the price tag. Product number one is Cinema Secrets. I used this so much all year. It was a lifesaver. This year was busy, it was hectic, but brush cleaning is still very important to me, but sometimes you just don't want to get them all wet and soapy and take that time to air dry because if you wash your brushes with soap and water, you know that it takes a long time. It's like, dang, I need to use my brushes tomorrow morning. It is the only brush cleaner I've used that A, makes my brushes feel truly, truly clean and sanitized. B, it dries really, really fast. C, the smell isn't horrendous. And D, the fact that it doesn't leave a greasy, oily residue on my hands or my brushes. Thank you, Cinema Secret. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Pond's face wipes. Oh my gosh. I grabbed these when I was at Dollar General. I know, fancy, right? And I walked by these and I think it said five bucks and I was like, ooh, that's pretty cheap for makeup removing wipes. And I've used a Pond's cream before when traveling, like I've grabbed a little travel size. I was like, hmm, I'm going to try those Pond's wipes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love them. My guess is for the price tag, the ingredients might not be Tati approved, but I love these. I have recently been doing my skincare at night, getting up in the morning, and just using a Pond's wipe to wipe my face off before I put on makeup. My skin doesn't feel overly dried. It gets off any leftover little bit of mascara, maybe from the night before, or eyeliner. It makes my skin feel clean. I just really really, 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 really like these. And they will remove your makeup too. I have used them on a full face. I love these. They're my new favorite. I have repurchased. The next thing may not be a surprise to you guys if you've been around my channel for a while is Bum Bum Cream. I am obsessed. Okay, it's really pronounced Boom Boom Cream, but that's boring. I like saying Bum Bum Cream. Who's with me? <laughs> but I'm obsessed with the scent. I'm obsessed with how it feels, how it makes your skin look. I'm not obsessed with the price tag. That is why I don't have it right now. It is real expensive, but you guys, it is so good. If you have ever smelt it, I personally think it is the most delicious, wonderful, amazing smell on planet Earth. Now, I did a full review video of like a whole bunch of their products, and I can honestly say the the boom boom cream and the shower gel are my absolute favorites i wasn't super impressed by some of their other products but these two are amazing the next thing is the clinique take your day off makeup removing balm i used an entire tub of this for me to use up an entire product of anything really means I liked it. I loved this. It was a wonderful step to my cleansing nightly routine because I will I will admit up until 2018 I was the girl that just took a little face wash washed off makeup and then boom went to bed. You guys 
My skin is so much better now that I actually take the time to remove my makeup and then cleanse my skin. It makes a world of difference. Take the extra step. I'm telling you, my skin is so much better. But oh my gosh, I love this balm. It just feels nice. It gets everything off. It's easy to remove and it makes your skin feel really nice. So definitely worth the extra step. Next is something I totally used up and you guys, I don't know if this project is magical or if my mind is playing tricks on me, but it is the Skin Food Peach toner. It claims to shrink your pore size and you guys, I feel like it worked. I do. I used it all up and I'm on to my new round of skincare, but I feel like after I used that toner, my pore size truly looked smaller. It might be magic. It could be magic in a bottle because usually when stuff says that, it's lying. But I felt like my pores looked so much smaller when I was using that product and I would definitely, definitely repurchase. The Primed and Peachy Mattifying Primer by Too Faced. I love this primer. It does mattify my skin. It does really good in my T-zone. I do feel like my pores and my texture looks better when I'm using it. Like right now, I'm wearing a shimmery blush and without it, I don't feel like I could get away with it because I feel like my pores would look really, really, really big. Trying to finish up the bottle, because I have had it for quite a while, a little bit goes a long way. Now, I will say, I use it a little more sparingly out on the outside of my face, because I don't get as oily there. But I love this for my oily and large pore textured skin. I would say there are two foundations that fall under my favorites for 2018. The first one is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion foundation. Since I have oily skin, I definitely have to take some extra steps to make this work for my skin because it is on the dewier side. But you guys, this is a beautiful foundation. I don't know what formula Drew Barrymore dreamt up with this, but it is so good. It is a beautiful formula. The price tag is awesome. It's drugstore. It is so good. And I even got my friend using it and she loved it. If you have dry skin, I would beyond recommend this to you because you guys, it is so pretty on the skin. It looks like skin. It looks like the most beautifully hydrated skin. And I feel like it doesn't emphasize texture, even though it is dewier. I don't know. It's, it's so good. The next one is a little bit on the, uh, there was a little scuffle about this foundation. And I understand why, but I can't lie to you and say that I don't love it. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. You guys, for my oily, large pore, textured skin, I don't know what it is, but when I wear this foundation, I look like I don't have pores. My skin looks so stinking smooth. It's unbelievable. I Every time I wear it, I'm like, oh, my skin, it looks so smooth. I love this foundation. It works really well with my oily skin and it's on sale because I think they know they really stepped in it when they launched the foundation. So it is on sale quite often. So for $19, it's a very good deal. I love, love, love how my skin looks when I wear that foundation. I really, really do. I really bounced around a lot on concealers this year and I'm gonna just say that my favorite concealer for the year is my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Now. It is not one I use under the eyes. Don't get me wrong, I have, and I'll use it in my inner corners because it's got really good coverage. I love it for carving out my eyebrow. It works perfectly, especially with my Morphe B10 brush. Oh my gosh, it just, it lays really nice. Like it's not, okay, it's not too creamy so I can really shape my brows. It's matte so I feel like it really stays put and then it, it blends out so nicely. It is amazing for carving the brows, you guys. Like, it's an A++ rating from me. My favorite lip products for the year. There is no doubt in my mind, my most favorite lip products for the year, the standout product to me. One of them's kind of new to me, so I have to just throw that out there. I haven't been using it the whole year. When I finally found this, I fell in love. It is the Joa I'm Your Jelly Bay Matte Lipstick. You guys, I thought I was leaving mattes behind in like 2016 because my lips are dry. The matte formulas, oh, they kill my lips. I cannot do it, but this formula, it feels so nice. My lips do not feel really dry. It, my lips don't feel like prunes afterwards. It looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Shade Bow and the shade Sweet Cheeks. I love, love, love these. I'll do a little swatcheroo for you. One reason I love it is because it's such a nice formula 
it's almost like a velvet formula and it's it really dries down but it's not thick it's not crusty and I could perfectly apply a gloss over top if I can wear a gloss and, or a chapstick I can do both then I know it's a great formula I'm obsessed obsessed with these. The next lip product that is, I feel like everyone is bringing up in their 2018 favorites, somehow Fenty created the most wonderful lip gloss in the world with their Gloss Bomb. I only have the original shade Fenty Glow. The smell, oh heavenly, it smells amazing and tell me that uh, that gloss with Sweet Cheeks would not be perfect. Okay, now I must wear those. <laughs> This gloss, it feels so nice. It's not sticky. It's not goopy. It gives your lips the most beautiful sheen here. Let me pop just like a little bit on. The smell is heavenly. It looks beautiful on everyone. And I feel like you can wear over any nude lip, this works. Any nude lip. Um, hello, fabulous. Totally obsessed with this gloss. I want to buy all three. I do. I, I'm going to buy all three. And then my final favorite lip product is of the year has been my favorite for such a long time. I'm obsessed with this little lip liner. It is the unique lip liner in plush. Like I have used this thing. None of my other lip liners are this size. It's what I'm wearing today. Plush is like this dusty lavender mauvey shade. I have looked everywhere else to see if there's any comparable lip liner colors. I cannot find one that looks like this. I feel like JLo, I feel like Kim Kardashian when I wear this lip liner. I just feel like it's so it looks so high-end when you wear it when paired with like a peachy nude. That is my favorite way to wear it. I hardly ever steer away from it. The only other time I'll change it up is if I'm wearing like a kind of dusty lavender mauve toned lipstick. I will pair this with it, but like I'm wearing it today with a peachy nude, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful, in my opinion. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It just looks so pretty. It's like the perfect tone that it gives you, like that kind of shadowy effect. I, I feel like my lips look so full when I wear it. I'm, I'm in love. I'm obsessed. It is my favorite lip liner of all time. The next one is also a new to me favorite. It is one I mentioned in my last video. It is the new Snapscara Mascara. I'm wearing it today. I am so Full on obsessed. It's my favorite. It's my new ride or die. It is totally kicking all other mascara to the curb in my opinion. It works so good. The day I put it on, I had to text a selfie to my BFF Stacy and say, you need this in your life. Because she would always tell me, I want lashes like on Snapchat. I put this on and I was like, this is it. They have done it. This mascara, so good. It's like eight bucks. You cannot beat it. If they ever stop making it, I will cry. The next thing is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Tint. I feel like the name is really misleading to what it is. They should call it like a, a brow, I don't know, like a brow liquid liner, a brow pen, a, I don't know. But the name really is kind of confusing. I'm obsessed with this product. And I, the funny thing is I use it for such a small portion of my brows. It seems kind of silly, but you guys, I'm obsessed with how my brows look when I wear this. So I have been using whatever floats my boat for three-fourths of my eyebrow. Pomade, pencil, whatever it is. And then I take that Revlon brow tint, which really is more like a winged liner pen, and I draw hair-like strokes in the front of my brow, and I love how they look. It makes them look so natural, but so fabulous like it makes you feel like you just got your brows done they look that good when I can just like make those little hair like strokes it makes it so easy it looks so good I love this product next up is a product I have to mention because I have basically been using it every single day since I got it but sadly it's not something that we're able to purchase which I'm like why not pure get with it it's amazing in my opinion it is this pure boxy charm Sculptor palette. It was something they created just for BoxyCharm and I love this product For one the contours in it blend out super super nicely. They can be really intimidating because they are really pigmented and real Dark, I mean they are definitely a bold contour, but in my opinion they buff out beautifully I'm wearing them today. I'm pretty fair complected. I feel like it works now you could blend it out even lighter than I do. You don't have to wear it this bold. I just kind of like that. Sometimes I'm feeling sassy and want a bold contour. 
they are so nice the powders just blend out beautifully the shades of them once blended out i feel like work for so many skin tones the highlighters though you guys oh my gosh the highlighters are so beautiful foiled i love these highlighters like i even wear them for eyeshadows and if you buff them out onto the skin let me just buff them a little bit buff 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 they look so like just like healthy glowy beautiful they are so nice i just really wish they would launch this as an actual palette you can buy because it's really really good the makeup revolution soap highlighter palette oh my gosh i'm wearing it today the formula is beautiful i'm wearing it on the inner corner under the brow on my lid on my cheeks i take the ones that are less of a really like bold highlight and i buff it out on my cheek and then pop a little bit of the brighter one on the cheekbone a little down the nose cupid's bow they just blend into the skin to give you the most radiant glowy highlight ever or you can make it really like a bam in your face highlight and again for the price tag so freaking nice my favorite setting spray of the year this was a this was a tough one i have a lot of setting sprays but I think for me, my favorite one to use throughout the year was the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I did use it up. It is so expensive, so I haven't repurchased. But you guys, the way it smells, the way it makes my skin look, oh my gosh. My favorite way to use it, I think I did a video on this. If so, I'll link it down below. Just on the sides of my face. With me being oily, I tried not to hit the center, and I would just hit the sides of my face. And I'm not kidding you, I feel like it gave me the most radiant, lit within glow, and I felt like my skin looked like 10 years younger. Every time I wore it, I was like, ooh, my skin looks so healthy and young and glowy. I love it. I really love that setting spray, but it's so expensive. I haven't repurchased, but it was definitely my most used, my favorite of 2018. Then the last two mentions I have for favorites of the year are just two subscriptions that I love. Now the first one is Scentbird. I did stop getting this only because I have so many perfumes that I'm like, girl, you need to use some of those perfumes up. So I'm not getting it currently, but I would definitely resubscribe. It's $15 a month. You get a little miniature bottle of perfume that usually is about 100 to 120 sprays. So a month's worth of the fragrance. They have so many scents to pick from. They're high-end brands. It's the true perfume. It's not like a knockoff of the perfume. It is such a fun way to try different perfumes. If you're like me and you like to match scent to your mood, your clothes, your, the season, then it is for you. And then of course I have to give a mention to BoxyCharm. I love BoxyCharm so much. It is the best subscription on the planet in my opinion. For $21 a month you get so many amazing products. You guys like a lot of my collection has come from BoxyCharm and I feel like so many others are in the same boat. It is so good. You get full size items, high end items, Oh my gosh, you cannot beat it for $21. I love BoxyCharm. Yeah, you guys, those are all my favorites. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my favorite products from 2018. I thought 2018 went by in a hurry, and I really was like, dang, how did it go so fast? If you are new to my channel, I feature a shout out at the end of every video, and I just shout out a member of the Lash family who commented on my last video. I love doing this. I think it's a great way to help me connect with you guys and to help you connect with each other because then you'll start to recognize each other in the comment section. Today's shout out is Katie Kane. I'm sorry if I said your last name wrong. It says, you are the only person who has posted anything about the new Stila Foundation. I've been searching for a review since it came out. So glad I found your channel. Oh my gosh, Katie, I am so glad you found my channel too. Welcome, and thank you for commenting. I seriously love when you guys comment. So, oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for watching part one of the series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love, love, love for you to be a part of the Lash family. And as always, you guys, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.